top thicknessing is one of the most important steps in the entire guitar building process. The tone and structural integrity of your guitar is directly related to how thick the top is. A sharp hand plane is a fine way to thickness the top. It allows you to get a feel for the wood and determine things like grain runout. However, for this video, I will be using a drum sander. You could also use a combination of both tools. If I use only a hand plane, then I complete the process by sanding the inside of the top up to 180 or even 220 grit. Let me start by saying that I'm not necessarily worried about a specific number for my top thickness, but rather about the stiffness and musicality of the top. I am working with certain numbers in mind, but I don't let those determine how thick or thin to make each individual top. I only use these numbers as guidelines, and then I let each top tell me how thick it wants to be. After thicknessing the top, I check it with calipers to make sure it's within my guideline parameters. Before thicknessing the top, the rosette must be installed, leveled, and the entire outside of the top sanded to about 180 grit. You can start sanding with 80 grit paper on your sanding drum. However, ideally, your drum sander should have about 150 or even 180 grit paper on it as you get closer to your guideline numbers. Most tops, when purchased, already come thickness somewhere between 4 and 4.5 and millimeters, or 157 to 177 thousandths. As I thickness them, I notice for my purposes they become musical somewhere around 3.5 millimeters, or about 140 thousandths. This is the point where I really start paying attention to the stiffness of the piece of wood. Notice how I hold the wood between my fingers and lightly flop it. This gives me a feel for the stiffness and also allows me to hear what it sounds like. What I listen for is what I describe as a sheet metal sound. This sound is the musicality I mentioned earlier. You should begin hearing the sheet metal sound around 3.5 millimeters or 140 thousandths. The more you thickness the top past this measurement, the more musical that sheet metal sound will become. There will come a point where this sound will peak and if you thickness more it will gradually decrease until it just sounds like a piece of cardboard. The goal is to stop thicknessing at this peak. Now I start paying attention to numbers by checking the thicknesses with my calipers. Trust your judgment. As you gain experience, your senses will tell you when a top is too thick or too thin or too stiff or too floppy. The calipers only verify this. This peaking of the sheet metal sound that I spoke of is only for my still string guitar tops. When thicknessing my classical tops, I have to shoot more for a target number because I take the top so thin that before bracing, it really only sounds like a piece of cardboard. Just as with the steel string guitar though, this target number is only a guideline. The tops are really beginning to loosen up now as I get closer to my final thickness. Watch as I flop each top and listen to it. Occasionally, I also check it with the calipers. A judgment call needs to be made of whether or not to send it through the sander again or stop and work with this final thickness. As I work, let me tell you about the pieces of wood used in this video. They were Adirondack, a piece of bear claw spruce, Port Orford cedar, and several pieces of Sitka spruce. I'm also going to give you some generic guidelines or parameters for you to work with. For spruce, a good set of parameters to work with are between 105 and 115 thousandths, or 2.6 and 2.9 millimeters. For cedar, I work between 110 and 120 thousandths, or 2.8 and 3.1 millimeters. Finally, one of the tops has arrived at what I consider to be optimum thickness. It just happens to be the highly figured bear claw spruce, and it came in at around 2.9 millimeters, or 114 thousandths. The next piece to arrive at final thickness was the piece of Port Orford cedar. This was a really stiff piece of cedar, and it came in at 2.8 millimeters, or around 110 thousandths. The Adirondack decided it wasn't done until 2.75 millimeters, or about 108 thousandths. All of the Sitka tops had to go through again, but eventually all of them ended up at around 2.6 millimeters, or around 105 thousandths. 
Remember the specs I have given in this video are only guidelines, but I highly recommend staying within these parameters until you have gained enough control over your tone to do otherwise.